One of the most stressful moments for any Rust player happens before you even get into the game. Launching the game and loading in, every Rust player knows that sinking gut feeling that everything you've worked for that night before is gone. That fear that you've been raided and lost everything is something that is sewn into the heart of every Rust player. It's inevitable. At some point, you're going to get raided. No base is safe no matter how unraidable they claim to be. No matter how big you make it or how many turrets you have, nothing will stop that gang of 12 year olds from farming all night long and foundation wiping you. So instead, I'm going to focus on two things that will benefit us in the long run. First is making your base less likely to be a target in the first place. And second is once that base inevitably does get raided, keeping the base and the loot, even if it's raided. At first glance, the keeper looks like your standard honeycomb 2x2 with a little bit of obvious signs of bunkering. However, once you get inside, the secrets begin to be revealed. Now the fact that it does appear to just be a honeycombed and upgraded 2x2 with a bunker design will deter a lot of players from raiding it to begin with. Inevitably though, you're going to make an enemy, or multiple enemies, and they're going to raid you. Now this is where the keeper comes in, keeping your loot and your base so you can continue the next day. As the players or player goes inside and begins to raid you, everything looks pretty standard. You've got a loot drop off area, a little bit of a deterrent, and the expected roof bunker design. Now if they do make it past this roof bunker by either destroying it or if you happen to have forgotten to close it, they're in here, which just becomes a loot room with a little bit of cooking area, some more storage, and the core here. If they breach into the core, they gain access to the rest of your loot. But something doesn't quite sit right. The base doesn't have a TC, but as you can see, I have upkeep. That's because the TC is hidden. And most players at this point aren't going to bother trying to go through every floor and wall, and they're usually going to be satisfied with this loot. Now, as long as you do have some loot in the boxes and nothing explosive, that should be enough to end the raid here. If you've done things right, you're going to still have a lot of loot, though. You might lose some components and some minor things, but if you've done it properly, you should have stashed away most of your goodies. First, the TC. Coming here to this wall, looking at this crack, and wiggling about a little bit, as it does take a little bit of patience sometimes, we find our TC. Once accessed, we're able to keep our upkeep, throw in more gunpowder, whatever we need to do. In addition to the TC, We've also got loot boxes, two of them, on this side, and two more on this side. Now they do sometimes take a little bit of finessing and a little bit of patience, but this actually helps make it a lot less likely that a raider is going to see it to begin with. Uh, I, yeah, see, I promise it's there. And sometimes you do have to move around a little bit more and spam your buttons in order to get access but you will eventually get access to the box. With a very cheap upkeep as well as low cost to build the base to begin with, this base is ideal for solo players and small groups. It is also very easy to expand into other bases and make it bigger with this being the core as a very secure core. Without further ado, let's get into the build. First, you're gonna wanna find yourself a nice low piece of land and place a low foundation. Not quite as low as possible, but pretty close. Next, you're gonna to wanna to place a high foundation, switch to triangles, and move off five to the right. Then you're gonna place a high square over here, and a square on this side as well. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you're connecting it to this piece and this triangle here when you place it, that is incredibly important. Then you're gonna get rid of these pieces of foundation as they no longer matter. Next, you're going to place a wall, making sure you're placing it while connecting it to this foundation here. I like to place these walls right away. This wall over here connected to that foundation, this wall to this foundation, and this wall to this foundation. Now that you have these down, this is the main part of your base. You're going to want to grab your TC and come around to the backside here. 
Place your TC directly against this wall and lock it up ASAP. You can also then go ahead and honeycomb this. This is going to be sealed up and never seen again. You can upgrade these later as you only have access from the outside. Then coming back over here, get rid of that. We're going to place another high foundation here and a low foundation here. That's going to act for our roof bunker. Then we're going to place some raised triangles here, raised triangles here. And we're basically just adding the honeycomb foundations already. You don't have to upgrade those till later, but you do want to get them placed right away. This wall to this, this wall to this, this wall to this, and half wall, and half wall. Perfect. Now we can go ahead and place this right here, this right here, and get rid of that half wall there with a full roof piece and a roof triangle piece here. That gives you a little bit more room down here, which is great for placing boxes. Uh, you can do it with two regular roof pieces, but I find that works a little bit better. Now that we've got that done, we're gonna place this piece right here and this piece right here. Again, you're gonna wanna make sure you connect it to this wall and this wall. That's gonna create a very slight gap right through here, which can sometimes be a little bit hard to see, but it's there, I promise. Uh, if you do have trouble looting, upgrading it to metal or high qual metal does make the gap a little bit more visible and make things a little bit easier to loot and you'll eventually get through. You do want to test before you go any further that you do have access to the gap. You don't need to make sure you can full loot it, but as long as you can see the open sign, you will eventually get through. Okay. Okay. Now heading over here, you're gonna to wanna to place a roof piece connected directly to this piece, and then a roof piece connected directly to this one here, which is gonna extend the gap so that you can also loot it on the other side. I forgot how to jump there, apologies. Now coming through here, you should see the gap right here, and you should also see the gap right here. Basically, from this point, you are mostly done and able to secure your loot, and you're doing your standard honeycomb thing. Upgrades can be done later, as they really aren't that big of an issue. And the only thing you gotta make sure to do is when you come over here, you're placing down four boxes. One box here, one box here, one box here, and one box here. And then you're going to want to make sure you lock them all up so nobody can loot them through the gaps. Now you do notice there's a little bit of a gap here. Uh, someone can see that and loot that. You can fix that by wiggling around where you place things and again for the roof piece as well. I find if you place it like this, connecting it to there, you should, I think that's how you do it, Send the gap. Yeah, yeah. So that actually sealed in the top gap here so it's not visible. Now it's just a matter of upgrading your base and finishing your honeycomb. For this part here, I do like to wait until after I've placed my locker as I find door frames can be a little tricky to place sometimes and they're going to fight with you here and there. So you first want to make sure that you can actually place it all before going ahead and upgrading it. Then you can put your box down, lock both of those up, and you're good to go. Whenever you need to seal your base, simply put a piece of twig right here, and your bunker is sealed. You're going to want to upgrade the main parts of your bunker to at least metal frags as quickly as you can, as that is going to make it a lot harder for someone to raid you. If you're ever having trouble looting, I find upgrading it to metal quickly is your best bet, and it's going to give you better access to those lootables. And then of course for right here, just do your little half wall. The only caveat with this base is you could either do a door frame or a double door frame here, but you can't put any door frames right here because it will block your loot to your TC as well as your loot above. And of course you only have access when you break that piece right there. But that's it. It's not overly complicated, it's not overly expensive, and you can do it at different stages for sure. And it's gonna at least help give you a fighting chance that when you come back, you come back with something. I know I would rather still have a base with some loot than have nothing at all. 
If this video helped you at all and you enjoy the base design, make sure you click that like button as well as subscribe for future content. I love you guys. Peace out.